guys, welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday. So today's topic is, what is today's topic? Oh my God. I like alter the topics half the time so much that I never remember what the original topic was. Uh, this is actually, I'm doing last week's topic, which is your favorite and least favorite nail trends. So I feel like I did something like this last year, but I don't remember like how I framed it. I just remember talking about like really old nail trends that I never really participated in. This is more of a focus on like modern, like right now stuff that is kind of trendy or kind of up and coming or that I think is up and coming. And I'm gonna talk about the ones that I absolutely love, the ones that I really could do without, and ones where there's one where I'm just kind of like, what? What is this? And then I got one that I just think should come back. So, uh, and if, your favorite nail trend ends up in the category of the ones that I hate, just please remember that just goofing a little bit, but also I have bad taste. So if I hate something, it's probably good, you know, so feel good about yourself in that way. And like I said, I'm trying to stick to like current kind of right now or like within the past quarter type of trends. Uh, and this is really my personal perception you know, what I see trending on Instagram, what I see that's popular on some of the subreddits that, like the nail subreddits that I go on. And I also just Googled like current nail trends and you know those like Refinery29 or whatever articles where they're like 15 nail trends to watch out for in 2023. And like Cosmo's like, these are the nails that you should be wearing. And it's like, they're manufacturing the trends essentially. I checked some of those and, and some of those that were on those lists, I was like, hey, that looks familiar. So I kind of drew from a lot of inspiration. So as always, let's start with the ones that I love and transition to the ones that I hate because I love ending on a negative note. I, I, most people are like, let's end this on a positive note. I'm like, no, I want to save the worst for last. I want to leave feeling really bad. <laughs> so that's just my style. So the trends that I love right now, I have four. The first one is kind of like relegated mostly to the indie sphere. And this one, I don't even know if it's really trending anymore, but it was a trend last year. And that would be reflective glitter. I got worn down, okay? Like it was just nonstop reflective glitter. And I was just like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Now I like it. It was like when it first started blowing up, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm intrigued. But after about five minutes, I'm like, okay, that's enough. I've seen it. And it was in everything. It was like every third polish on polish pickup was reflective glitter. Everybody was making full reflective glitter collections. And I was just like, please, I, do. I cannot. Not another bite of this reflective glitter. And now that it's kind of like, tapered off a little bit, evened out. It, it, the balance has been restored in the glitter world and not everything is reflective. Now I finally like it. <laughs> I've acquired a decent handful of these. I blame specifically Dom nail polish for really pushing me over the edge because there was a handful of reflective glitters in that advent calendar that I got back in December. And it just, the, something about her color contrasts with the reflective glitter, it just sold me. And also, I was wearing Grandpa's Garden the other day, which has reflective glitter in it. And, you know, people say it's a little bit more reflective, like it's a little bit more sparkly in regular light than normal glitter is. And I'm like, yeah, okay, but it, it, really, who cares? But then I, I cared. I, I did. I kept looking at my nails and I was like, oh my God, they are so sparkly. Oh, and... So yeah, I guess I like reflective glitter now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so on to the more like mainstream trends. The first one I really like is negative space manicures. There is something about a nail art design over the top of like either a bare nail or like a super sheer barely there type of polish, like OPI's Bubble Bath or, or Cirque's Voile or something like that, where it just looks so stark and crisp and modern and just so interesting. It is such a clean and fun kind of like, it's it's to, it's a little bit toned down, 
It's not too over the top. It's very quote unquote wearable, even if the art is really poppy. Like it just, there's something about it. It looks really elegant. My friend Pi, who is Lacquer Diary 3.14 over on Instagram, a couple weeks ago, she did a really, really pretty negative space nail art with like a silver glitter. And it's just this like swoopy swirl of glitter going down her nail, or maybe it was like a metallic polish. I can't remember. I just remember it looked, on her nail shape especially, it just looked so interesting and eye-catching. And like not only does abstract art look really cool like this, but little cutesy designs and motifs I think are also really fun. If my nails looked nicer bare, I would be slapping Deco Miami stickers all over them, top coating them, and just going out the door because I feel like that is kind of a something, a type of nail art that I've been seeing more and more, especially with Gen Z coming in and like setting trends. I, I think a lot of it is this kind of almost like an all over sticker binder kind of a look or something like that I've seen a lot of. And I just think that's really fun and really enjoyable. Okay, the next one is something I hadn't even heard about until like three days ago. And it is the micro French Manny. Now, if you explained this to me and didn't show me a picture, I would be like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like it sounds absurd. But seeing it in practice, I do think that it looks really nice, especially on very short nails. Like, I feel like this is a great nail art specifically for people who like to have shorter nails all the time or can't really grow out their nails for some reason. And I like it when they use like fun colors for it. And what it is, I've I've popped up a picture, I'm sure. Uh, but it's just like, it's literally a French manicure, but the line is like barely there, very thin. And it's very simple, really easy to do. Uh, it's right on the cusp of not being my thing because it's so minimal. And, and I just don't like to wear minimal stuff. I'm a very loud person. I mean, look at the nail polish color I'm wearing right now. Like I'm just, I'm just kind of too obnoxious and inelegant for stuff like that. But I recognize like it does look really nice. And I like this far better than like in my head when I think of French tips, I literally think of Carmela from The Sopranos. And she had those super stark, like it contrasts super hard between the pink and the white. And I just, I, it's not for me. I'm not going to say that it's the worst, but you know, fill in the blank. Um, it's just not. It doesn't look nice. I like, somebody told me these are called like baby boomer nails, but like, I like the French tips where it gradients into each other. I think that looks really elegant. Still not my particular style because I just don't wear like normal nails, I guess. But add this, the micro French tip to the list of French tip styles that I can tolerate. Could you imagine though doing a micro French tip on even like this length? It would be so stupid. I kind of want to do it. And then lastly, for the current trends that I am loving, I'm living for, I'm really interested in, it's the cartoon pop nails. Now I know that this was trending like, like three weeks ago, four weeks ago maybe, and it's kind of like not as in its height as it was, but I just still wanted to mention it anyways, because I feel like this trend was popular when I first got into males, nails, males, did I say males before? When I first got into males in 2015, um, it sounds about right, yeah. Um, but no, when I first got into nails in 2015, I remember cartoon nails being a thing and you drew like this kind of like, it like a, it's supposed to look like the reflection of light. And I tried it and I failed, but what's new? But the ones that I saw on Instagram this time around, I was like, oh my God. Like I was like, that looks Photoshopped. Those look fake because of how well people were implementing their techniques. And they just look like cartoons on your fingernails. Like it just, it looks like your hands were pulled from an animated series is what I'm trying to say. I just love these. That, that's they're just cute and fun and cartoony and interesting and that is all I have to say about that I also just lost a second nail so okay oh no next I have a trend where I'm not like in love with but I don't hate it yet I still just don't know how I feel about it and this is one that I've only seen so far on reddit but I saw it enough times to be like what what's going on here and I don't know how to call this except for like 
corpse nails. Like everybody was calling it corpse nails. It's basically a circular ombre from like the inside to the outside of your nail in a like black, gray, and white color scheme. And everyone says you look like you're dead with these nails. They just look like corpse nails. And I like the idea of this. It's just that I do kind of see how this could look a little bit gross or dirty rather than a cool nail design. It really just depends on how muddy you get your ombre gradient or if you can get it a little bit more like bright and white in the center. I, I don't know. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen this though, because like I said, I've only seen it on Reddit a couple times, and but it was enough to make an impression on me. Now let's transition into the trends that I do not like. I, I don't like these. I I wouldn't say hate, I guess, because it's literally nails. Like, just don't do your nails like that. But I would rather not with these. And the first one is glazed donut nails. Like, first of all, with the name, you'd think, Hillary, you must love that because you love food. You, you love food-themed nails. I was like, oh, sick. Are they going to look like a literal glazed donut? No, they don't look like food at all. It has nothing to do with food. I am suing whoever named these because I felt tricked. I'm honestly surprised this one is still hanging on. I feel like trends cycle so fast nowadays. And this one is like still here. I mean, I know it's only from last year, but still like why this one hung on. I fully understand why these are so mainstream and so popular because I feel like it's a very wearable, tame, simple look. And that's just kind of what, that's what's popular is things that are easy to recreate, things that are not too over the top obnoxious. It's more palatable for a wider audience. So I understand why these are popular, but to me, they just come off as like kind of icy and it's essentially just kind of a white polish, I guess, to me. At least the iterations that I've seen, they all look pretty white to me. So I'm just like, no, not for me. I almost look at these and think like, they kind of look like wedding appropriate nails, like something that you would wear on your wedding day, which like I wouldn't, but <laughs> I would probably show up in like the grungiest green I own and be like, yeah, what's wrong? This is perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just, they're not for me. Next on my list of trends that I think should just, you know, go back to the year they came from would be chromes slash metallics. Now this is not me coming for any particular brand that just came out with these. Like, no, no, no. I am coming for the trend in general. I'm coming for every brand that has done these. I just, I think last winter I did say like, oh, I'd be okay with this kind of polish coming back. I was wrong. I thought I would be okay with it until like everybody started doing it. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'm not okay with this. Maybe there's too much of it. I don't want the chromes to come back. I feel like there's so many, my nails are just too ridgy for chrome polishes and they aren't really saturated in the way that I like my polishes to be. I like bright, poppy, punchy colors. And I feel like chromes a lot of time look pastel. And I just I don't like pastel that much. And here's the thing. Here's the trend that should come back from that era. The clear electronics trend. Why did we ever get off of that? The clear Game Boys, the clear N64s, clear TVs. I want all of my electronics to be clear again. Why can't we bring that trend back? That was the good trend from like the 90s, 2000s. I just, I just want a clear Game Boy. Like that's really what I want. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Here's another trend that I feel like this has been over the past couple of years that I'm just kind of like over it, even though I've bought from a couple of these and have kind of, I still want some from one of these brands, but that is the overpriced celebrity nail polish brand. Like what's going on with that? You think cause you're famous, you can charge me $30 for a bottle of paint. Yeah, but still you shouldn't. And I'm talking about like undone lacquer, which is machine gun Kelly's brand. Um, Pleasing, which is Harry Styles brand, which I have some back there. I've reviewed them. They're not that good. They're not good at all. <laughs> They're not good. I like the bottles though. Uh, like Golf Le Fleur, which is, isn't that Tyler, the creator's brand? I, I want those. They look really cool, but I know they're too expensive for what they are. And you know what? Like, <laughs> actually, are there any 
female based brands like this are there any female celebrities that have nail polish brands i can't even think of one because it's all like these dude brands and when i was doing a little bit of research on this i found this article i i'll try and find it again but it kept calling it like the rise of the manicure like m-e-n-i-c-u-r-e which like buddy the first word in manicure is already man you didn't have to change it you did not have to change that if you wanted to make it weird and gendered. Like, why did you do that? The manicure? Shut up. And then they kept calling these nail polish brands instead of nail polish as if like nails are this weird female exclusive thing. Like, like I know that's a whole other tangent, but it's just like, I really hate when things that are seen as, you know, like slightly feminine or whatever are suddenly rebranded by men and man and it, it's just like do you remember when metrosexual was a word that was just commonly used like and that just meant like a straight guy who took a shower it's just like buddy it's not gay to paint your nails it's not gay to use soap just don't worry about it anyways the real reason i'm mad about that is because how are you gonna charge me like 20 plus dollars a bottle and then give me something that's not even interesting. Like strip away the celebrity name, strip away the cool packaging and the cool bottles and the free stickers that you send and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, what is the, you just released the dullest plain yellow polish on the planet. You gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? Probably not, even though I bought some. So just pretend like you don't see those back there. Okay, sorry about that. The last <laughs> trend that I do not care for, and although I don't like this, I definitely see a place for it in just life for other people who aren't me. That is, uh, it's called the no polish polish look. And this is essentially the same thing as the no makeup makeup look. And I feel the same way about both of these things, right? I respect people who apply their makeup or their nail polish like this in real life they like that they need to or they feel they need to or like that's just the way that they're comfortable with whether it be you know their job or like personally that's just how they feel that's fine i'm not gonna rag on anybody for doing things in a way that makes them feel the most at ease with themselves but like personally for me it just feels like a waste of time. Like why, if I'm gonna put makeup on, I want everybody to know I'm wearing makeup. If I'm gonna put nail polish on, I want everybody to know I'm wearing nail polish. You know, I don't feel like I need to arrange my face or my nails or whatever in a way that makes me palatable to society. And obviously, you know, there are some jobs and some social situations where you do just have to do that. But ever since I was a kid, I always felt like it was kind of BS that as a woman you were expected to, or you, you were made to feel like you were expected that you needed to be wearing makeup anytime you went out in public and things like that. And I like, I didn't start wearing makeup or nail polish really regularly until I was about 22 years old. And even then, I have never worn makeup to a job. I refuse to, like, I just don't, I'm not waking up that early. Like, are you kidding me? That's annoying. And I'm not gonna make my nails like these, like, unless it's, you know, within the contract of my job, it's like, I'm not gonna wear only neutral shades because that's just not me. And for some people that is them, that's fine. I'm not ragging on you specifically. I just think that it should be a choice from yourself and not because you feel like you must do that to make others around you comfortable, right? That's, I think that's my problem is, is I have kind of been conditioned and I'm sure many women have that you need to look and dress and act a certain way to make everyone around you comfortable. And my whole life has been, here's how you make everybody else comfortable. And I'm so sick of worrying about if other people are comfortable when nobody's worrying about if Hillary's comfortable. I need to be comfortable too. I need to like the way that I dress and the way that I look and the way that I act and I need to feel at peace with that. And if the way that I feel at peace with that is wearing lime green nail polish and you know bright yellow eyeshadow some days, then so be it. I don't care if you think I look ugly because guess what? I'm allowed to be ugly if I wanna be ugly. That one got away from me. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, I think that in the professional world, these are things that definitely have a foothold. And I think that 
they're like necessary in that realm in certain ways. But for me, I just want to roll up in, like I said, bright yellow eyeshadow and like a pukey green nail polish. And I just want to make spectacle of myself. So I just am not going to participate in either of those trends. I've never worn makeup to not look like I'm wearing makeup. And I've never wanted to put on polish to make it look like I wasn't wearing polish. The only time I've ever had to do something like that is when I'm interviewing for jobs because like I said, there is a time and a place for this kind of stuff. And I know that my nail length without polish, uh, if people see that like differentiate that the white overhang of your nail and that like versus your like nail bed, I don't know. I feel like maybe this is just me projecting, but when people see long nails bare, even if they're like super clean and kept and, and nice looking, people have like a feeling about that. So I at least just put on like a neutral tone for job interviews. Okay, so those are the ones that I, I like and I dislike. There is one trend that I just really want to come back. And I know that like only two people feel the same way, but man, just crackle, bring it back. Bring back crackle. It's so funny. It's, it's just, I feel like with the modern advances in nail polish technology, we could make it bigger and better and bolder than ever before. Give me more of that. But yeah, those are the trends that have kind of been rattling around in my head. Throughout the course of this video, I, I peeled off like all of those nails, but these nails are here to stay. I don't know. I'm fidgety today. But yeah, uh, let me know what trends that you are loving right now and what trends you've seen that you are just like, ew, why is that a trend? I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.